Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I am one of the current interns with the Sumo Digital Academy. This blog series is going to be about the Sumo Digital Diversity Internship Training Programme. It's for people from underrepresented groups in the games industry and it runs alongside the application, so the Sumo Digital Academy Apprenticeship Application Process and it's going to be about my experiences with the internship and also what the internship consists of if you're interested in applying. So to start, what I'd like to do is go through what a normal working day looks like for an intern at Sumo Digital. So each day we start with a um, scrum meeting, and this is something that's quite common in the game industry. Then work on our personal projects. So for the internship, what project you're doing depends on your experience with C++. We're working on our own personal portfolio demos. We're given free reign with this pretty much. We're allowed to create any sort of 2D game that we like personally working on platformer using some of the assets from Zool that Sumo very kindly allowed me to use. So now I'm going to show you some of the coding that I'm doing. I changed the movement um, for the player so now it uses acceleration rather than velocity to set the player's movement. So yeah, he reaches his top speed and he slides to a stop. If I jump into here, um, we can edit this. So now it's a little bit faster. I think it looks a little bit better. This week, I'm going to be working more on my portfolio demo. I'm working more on the physics system. Um, so things like collisions. Then later in the week, we're going to be speaking to a senior programmer and they'll look through our code and review it for us and give any suggestions. This is really common in the games industry because your code has to be readable to other people because there's a lot of collaboration on code. So this week we'll be speaking to Michelle Chapman who is the Principal Technical Designer at Sumo Digital. Sometimes you refer to tech design as tier one tech support. It's like if the designers or any other or any other department, like, you know, audio or level design, they have a problem. It's like, well, come to us first. We might be able to, you know, tell you that you haven't turned on this button rather than you have to go to a programmer and then have to spend an hour debugging it. It's been really interesting to be able to speak with industry professionals and learn more about what their day-to-day -day is like, but also how diverse the roles are in the games industry, even within game programming. Mm -hmm.